hi and welcome back to another catch up with me video you guys i'm so excited about today's video can i just say that out loud i am super excited so let's jump right on in here is my planner layout for the week why am i singing that i don't know but this is my planner layout for the week you guys i was feeling in an aerial mood and you all know Ariel from the movie Aladdin. If you know me, then I'm a huge Disney fan. So I was kind of feeling, you know, Ariel this week. And I said, well, hey, let's just roll with Ariel, okay? So that's what we did. Now, my drink of choice while I'm doing my video is, bam, my lemon water. As you can see, I don't have any cucumber in here because I ran out. So I will have to get some more cucumbers. But we have our lemon water. Your word for the week. Your word for this week Oh, before I tell you a word for the week, y'all, because I'm going to tell you something. If I don't tell you stuff when I think about it, I may forget. I was not able to do my Cooking with Michelle video on Sunday or Saturday, yesterday. Well, I should say this past weekend as I had planned on it. So, please be on the lookout for that. It should be up and ready for you guys to view it on Wednesday. So I'm telling you now to make sure you come back to my channel, which means if you're going to come back to my channel, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Okay. Just, just going to do that for me, but come back on Wednesday, check out my cooking with Michelle video because I'm going to be doing, <laughs> I'm going to be doing some authentic, y'all hear what I said? Authentic Alaskan reindeer meat. Now y'all, let me tell you something. I've never in my life eaten deer meat, period. And, and I probably and I will never ever ever do it again and let me tell you something last week I had four reindeer reindeer Lord I had four deer in my yard no reason why I know that is because I looked at the camera on my ring and as I was looking at the video because the ring went off at like 10 minutes after three in the morning I was like oh my god four deer nice nice size deer they were all females, of course, but they were four deer in the yard. And so I said, oh, my goodness, what if they know I have the deer meat in the refrigerator? Lord help me. Then I said, Michelle, stop, stop stressing. They don't know. So y'all just check back on Wednesday. We're going to see how it turns out. Now, moving on to the word for the week. Our word for the week is focus. That's what I want you all to do this week, to focus focus so it is said that energy flows where the attention goes when you're focused you expand your knowledge become more productive and you achieve your goals much faster and here's your takeaway being focused can change your life my life it can change our lives if you use it correctly and it will determine the level of success that we achieve so that is our, and I, that's going to be in the description box because that's our, our goal this week is to focus. So that means I need you to focus on whatever it is that you need to focus on. If it's your business, I need you to stay focused on that. Even if you have to do it after hours, when you finish with your nine to five, your eight to four thirty, your six to three thirty, whatever your hours may be, I need you to, to, to finish that up. I need you to focus on if you are trying to get your bills paid off. I need you to focus on that. Whatever it is that you need to be doing, I need you to get so focused this week that you just block out everything else that has nothing to do with where your focus is, okay? Next, oh, y'all, I had a shamrock shake on Saturday, and honey, when I tell you it was good, you better believe me. And it's been, I'm going to say it's been at least five years. It might have been a little bit more than that, but it's been at least five years since I've had a shamrock shake. And when I tell you it was good, honey, you better believe it was G-O-O-D good. So make sure you get one because you know that they're only around for a limited time for the month. I think it's just for the month of March for St. Patrick's Day, but it was so delicious. Now, this is where I went wrong. This is where I went wrong. I was so excited about getting the shamrock shape, I forgot to take my lactate pill. So dare I say it, the rest of my evening was not very nice, but you know what? I enjoyed my shake nonetheless. So, oh, y'all, yesterday's sermon topic. So as I told you all, I think last week, week before last, my pastor's still doing the Ten Commandments. Now, this is the overall sermon theme. The Ten Commandments, ten things that have not changed. And we're up to the Eighth Commandment that says, You shall not steal. And the subtitle for yesterday's sermon was our need to trust that God will provide for us. And the scripture reference is Exodus 20, 15. And so here are the points that 
that were made. Number one, we talked about stealing because at some point in time, we all probably taken something that we shouldn't have, even if it was just some paper clips from work or some or uh, some rubber bands or staple or something. And so number one, he said, stealing is a sinful expression of individualism and greed. Mm, let that marinate in your spirit. Number two, we often steal from others even when we aren't aware that we're doing it. Number three, we sometimes steal from ourselves. This was powerful, you guys, because he talked about how we steal from ourselves when we mismanage our time. You know how you go through the day and you're not focused, that's our word for the week, and so you're not managing your time wisely. And before you know it, the day gets away from you and you haven't accomplished a daggone thing. So that's, 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 that's a form of stealing. And we miss, uh, I'm sorry, we steal from ourselves when we when we don't take care of ourselves. So if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're not doing what you need to do to take care of yourself, I need you to start doing that. Stop stealing from yourselves because what you're doing is you're stealing time. And, and as you know that once you lose time, you can't get that back. I can lose weight and gain it back. But, but but if I waste my life away, I can't get back the years that I've wasted. I can't get back the years that I wasn't focused on my goals and my dreams. So let's stop stealing from ourselves. And then number four, he said, we steal from God. And in the book of Malachi 3 and 8, it what we, that's a scripture that we all know, right? It says, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Mm. So we rob God when we don't give him that which is due him. God died on a cross between two thieves. Y'all, that's powerful. Because God died on a cross. Think about that. He died on a cross with two thieves. But only one of them had the, the, the foresight to say, God, forgive me. Because he wanted to be with Jesus in paradise. And God forgave him. Now, I don't know why the other thief did not ask for forgiveness. I wasn't there, so I don't know. But that's powerful, y'all. So what I'm saying to you is, think about, and I'm put all this in the description box. Think about how we rob ourselves, other people, and we, we rob God. Of course, the, the piece about robbing God and tithes and offerings, God has allowed you to keep that job that you have or whatever it is that brings your income in. You need to give God what to do him. And the Bible says all he needs, all he asks for is 10%. Now, I don't know about you all, but I'm a member of a church. So my tithes and my offerings go to help things such as our food pantry. It goes to help those that are less fortunate. It goes to cover the cost of, of, of the building that we're in. We have to have power. We have to have water. So many things that we need. And so when you don't give God what's due him, you're robbing him. Y'all, let me move on because I can be on that all day. Movies that I've watched this week, or last week, I'm sorry. So I've watched Medea's Family Reunion, and y'all know they came out in 2006. That was on YouTube Movies. And when I just tell you, I love the movie. Always have, and I'll probably watch it again many more times. But I love the movie. I just cannot stand a man that puts his hands on a woman. That's something that just burns me to the core of my being. But y'all know me. Hmm, you know me. Don't ever, 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 ever think that you're going to put your hands on me. Because just, just like you can give it, you will receive it. Because I'm not the one. My mom and daddy ain't raised no punks and they ain't raised no fools. Keep your hands to yourself. That's all I'm saying. And then I've watched Diary of a Mad Black Woman, which came out in 2005. And that was on YouTube movies as well. And y'all, let me just say this. there, There's not enough time. For me to unpack that movie the way I would love to unpack it. But I love the fact that we see, I forget the character's name, take care of her husband. This man that drug her out of their home, treated her like the, the, the trash in the street. And when he got shot, she was still there to take care of him. And that girlfriend that, that he had, she rolled. She left him. She said, peace, I'm out. I'm not dealing with this. Cleaned out his house. That wasn't even her stuff. The furniture and all of that, that was then when she moved in with him. But as a wife, 
She honored the, she honored what the Bible says about marriage, and she took care of that husband of hers even after he treated her like crap. But, y'all, I'm going to move on because, like I said, I don't even have enough time to be trying to unpack that. I also watched Jacob's Ladder, which actually came out in 2019. That's on Netflix. And I have to admit... I had never in my life seen that movie before, but it was so interesting. And I won't I won't even begin to lie. It had me twisted and turning with the movie because there's a lot going on. But we, we see Jacob Singer, played by Michael Ely. Is that his? Ely or Ely? I don't know. After the death of his brother in Afghanistan, Jacob is finally getting his life back together when a stranger tells him his brother's still alive and living in an underground shelter with other homeless vets. Jacob then becomes paranoid about what really happened to his brother, who is alive and addicted to an experimental drug. So Jacob uncovers a secret that he never could have been prepared for. And I'm not going to tell y'all what that secret is. I'm going to let you figure it out. If you haven't watched the movie, y'all need to watch it because I'm going to tell you that that movie was good. Mm, I'm going to leave it at that. And then I watched a movie called The Perfect Guy. That came out in 2015. This was on YouTube Movies. And after a painful breakup, Leah Vaughn, played by Sinai Lathan, jumps into a passionate relationship with a charming stranger. Again, Michael Ely, I think that's how you say his last name, is in this movie as well. And when her ex-boyfriend, played by Morris Chestnut, comes back into her life, she has to now figure out mm, who she should trust and who she should fear. Y'all, I'm not giving nothing away because I'm telling you, you need to go watch this movie, y'all. Now, if I say that it's on YouTube movies, if I don't say it's a free movie, you have to either rent it or purchase it. So, the choice is yours. And then I saw No Good Deed. That came out in 2014. That's on YouTube movies as well. And it's about an unsuspecting Atlanta woman played by Taraji P. Henson. She lets in a charming strange stranger played by Idris Elba, who oh, Lord have mercy, to use her phone, and she soon believes the adage, no good deed goes unpunished. So when he takes over her home and terrorizes her family, mm, another movie that's a must-see, y'all, I'm trying to tell you, you need to go and see that movie because it is good. There are so many twists and turns, and when you get to the end and you put it all together, you're going to say, good God, I didn't even see that coming. Check it out. I watched The Intruder. That came out in 2019. This is on YouTube Movies as well. Scott, another movie that Michael Ely is in, and Annie, played by Megan Good, that just bought their dream home from a mysterious and lonely widower, widower named Charlie, played by Dennis Quaid, in Napa Valley, California. So their happiness soon turns into a living nightmare when Charlie, who is still attached to the home, starts to show up and interfere in their daily lives. The couple soon find themselves caught up in a violent confrontation and threatens to destroy everything that they hold dear. Also in this movie is Joseph Sikora. Now many of you are saying, well, who the heck is that? Why should I care? Well, if you ever watched Power, the character Tommy, that's his real name. He's in this movie. So y'all need to go check that out as well. I'm not giving it away because it's going to blow your mind once you figure out what's really going on. And then lastly, I watched Coming to America Part 2. Honey, all I'm going to say, it was great and I loved it. That is on, I forgot to put in my notes, that is on Amazon Prime. Yeah. So if you have Amazon Prime, then you can check it out because I'm sure I'm going to look at it again. But the movie was so good. And let me just say this. Some people said, oh, I didn't like the movie because it wasn't like the first one. Well, it's not supposed to be. The, the, the part two doesn't necessarily have to be exactly like the first one. The first one was set in the way it was set at that time, but we're not at that time. You know what I'm saying? So watch it with an open mind, regardless of what somebody has said to you about that movie. I thought it was great, and I definitely will be watching it again. Next on my list, the Confident Speaker Series workbook. So if you guys will remember, I told you last week that I had completed it, and I didn't want to stop this video to go across the room, which is just right over there, to get it, but I have it with me today. Bam, this is what it looks like. So this is the cover. And I'm really loving it, loving it, loving it. And this is the back cover. It's just plain here. And I don't know. I may add something here and I may not. Just keep my logo at the bottom. But you guys, I am loving this. And it says, Confident Speaker Series, How to Be a More Confident Speaker. 
And I'll just show you the inside of the first page here. Sorry, my sinuses are draining. And so I just think this is a great reference tool. And once you purchase the course, you have, because here's, um, you have blank pages starting here, which says my notes. So you have blank pages that you can use to to write in because my hope is that because what I'm not going to do is mail this out. Once you purchase the course, you will get this workbook to use um, with the course and, and you have blank pages to write in. But you also have some references in here to that will go along with what I'm talking about. So let me let me let me backtrack. So what will happen is when you purchase the course, like I said, it is a series. And so it will have four maybe five but definitely four videos where I am talking and teaching so you're gonna need something to take notes in so that's why this is perfect because you do have blank pages now if you have a journal that you write in that's fine too but you're gonna to want to take notes but you will see this face teaching and talking about becoming a confident speaker and and then like I said this is just a reference tool that you get with purchasing the course and i am so thankful y'all when i tell you i'm so thankful please believe me i'm so thankful to have an awesome and amazing coach in mr bob yates i consider him my coach my mentor but a friend as also as well and i got a little stuck i was feeling a little overwhelmed so i called him told him what i was trying to do he said all right all right we, we can fix it and so he got me on the right path so now i i'm i have all of my notes are done i did them in powerpoint and so now all i have to do is record the videos which i my goal whoo my goal is because we have a lot of stuff coming up at church for women's month this weekend so I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get to it this weekend but we'll see anyway my goal is to get that stuff done if not this weekend coming then the following weekend so we'll see so I'm, I'm excited you know I'm super excited and I think it's going to be great for anybody that's looking to become a confident speaker because I'm gonna tell you something it is not as easy as you think to get up and talk to a group of people it is not easy at all and it is something that I promise you that people that look like they make it look easy it's something they had to learn some things that they had to do over time to get comfortable with speaking in front of a group and be confident you ever notice when I do my videos don't I look confident to you I'm not scared for what I'm confident because I, I love what I talk about and I love that I get to share it with you all. But everybody, now let me say this, there are other people that are, that are they love their topic, they know their topic, but when they get in front of their camera, they just kind of freeze up and they start to worry. And Because and you're worried about what, what people are going to say. What are they going to think? Are they going to like it? Let me just tell you something. The, person, the people that don't like it, that's not your audience. So don't worry about them. They're, they're not your audience anyway. So why do you care? Because I certainly don't. We are always going to, at some point in time, you, you're going to not be somebody's cup of tea and it's all right. I need you to focus on the people that need what you have to offer. That's where your focus needs to be. That's it. That's all. Now, next on my list. Oh, you guys. So I was, and I forgot to share this with you guys last week, but after I hit the end button, I was not about to redo the video, but I was contacted by a representative from Fairway Edition uh, Magazine. It's a golf magazine about being featured in their magazine for one year. And the magazine will be featured, unfortunately, in the Prince William County, Prince William, Virginia County area. I was hoping that they still had a spot open in Montgomery County, but there was no spot left for that. So, you know, it is what it is. And so what's going to happen is my my cute little face and information about my business, how people can reach me, will run in their magazine for one whole year. And I'm just going to say this. I am so thankful for the person that decided, hey, I want to bless you and pay for that because it's not free. Okay, it's not free at all. So I'm excited about that. And so that means that my information is going to run in the magazines that are going to the Bull Run Golf Course, the Westfields Golf Course, Robert Trent Jones Golf Course, and Dominion Valley Country Club. 
So everybody at those country clubs, when that magazine comes out, as they flip through the magazine, they will see Michelle and they'll see information about my business, how they can contact me. And so the hope and the goal is to, to get clients from seeing this magazine. Now, I'm not quite, I haven't thought about, well, if people contact me, am I looking to do group stuff? But we'll just have to work that out as they come. Not if, I said if, no, 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 we speak positively here. When people contact me, okay? So I, oh, so, so I thought, well, so I asked the guy, I said, well, what, what am I going to do about sharing that magazine with people that are not members of the golf course? And he said, you're going to get an e-copy of the magazine. So once I get the cop, that e-copy of the magazine, I will be sure to add that onto my website so that you all can go there, click on it, download it, read it, or whatever it is you want to do with it, because I do want you all to see it. And I think he said it should be available starting the end of April. And so I'm super excited about that. And they only use two life coaches per year. So like I said, I was recommended by who I am not sure, but I'm truly appreciative of it. I will say that. And so they use like two life coaches and I guess they use other businesses as well. But what they do is they only use two of specific types of professions because what they don't want is just too much competition. If you had 10 life coaches in there, that that just you know it gets oversaturated oversaturated and it can be very competitive so by only having two you know people can decide who they want to work with next i'm going oh y'all i am going to do a much better job with responding to the comments on my youtube channel because i realized when i went back last week i had a ton of comments and see i hold my comments for review just because i've gotten some of the strangest comments that just make no sense to me at all. Like I had someone that kept telling me how pretty my lips are. Can you zoom the camera in a little bit more so we can see your lips a little bit more? I'm thinking, what does that have to do with the topic that I'm talking about? So for that reason, my comments are held. So if you leave me a comment, I have to go in to, to look at it, like it, share it, and all that other good stuff. Otherwise, nobody will ever see your comment. I'm just going to keep it real. But I said every week I do have to make an effort to go in to look to see if I have comments so that I can respond to them in a timely manner. So if you've ever left me a comment and I got back to you a week or two later or even a month later, please forgive me. I'll charge it to my head, never to my heart, because I just didn't think to go in and look. But I am going to do better. L last but not least, we are reading... Oh, here it is. We are reading this book for women's Bible study. It's called The Armor of God by Pris uh, Priscilla Schreier love 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 this book and most of you are probably thinking why does that name sound familiar well if you watch the movie mm, why is it not coming to me mm -mm -mm. why is it not coming to me and the book war room i was i just happened to look my book is over there but if you watch the movie war room she is the woman that played in that movie she actually wrote the book war room because I'm looking at it, and she wrote this book. She has some other books as well. She wrote this one as well. So this is what we're reading for Bible study, women's Bible study on Thursday, Tuesday night. We're reading Whisper, How to Hear from God. So I think that's it. So as usual, don't forget to check out my podcast, Elevator Talk. A new podcast comes out every Saturday, unless I have some like a burning topic that I just can't wait to share with you guys, and I put it out before then. Otherwise, it's always on Saturday, and I'll put the link below where you can go to that. Check out my Selfie Store Life Coaching Group on Selfie.com. Again, I'll leave the link there. Sign up to get your own Selfie account. You may find that you want to get your own Selfie account, and I have a $15 discount code that you can use to set up your own store. It's it's where it's in your virtual store is what it is. And uh, please be sure to check out Circle Champions every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m., but make sure you go to the Circle Champions website because you have to register for the classes because you need to get the zoom link so i'll make sure i put that in the description box as well and just a reminder that if you have a product or a service that you would like me to feature in my catch up with me videos please do not hesitate to let me know the cost will be 49 dollars for a month and all of your information would need to be to me by the last week in the previous month so i have time to get all of that information into my weekly notes 
Lastly, let's see. Please be sure to sign up for your COC membership, COC University. You guys, I'm telling you, you will absolutely love it. You will not be disappointed. And the website is www.cocuniversity.com. Again, that information will be in the description box as well. Last but not least, you guys, I want you to go out there. Continue to have a great life. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Make sure you're socially distancing yourself. Don't go out there thinking that just because the numbers are kind of plateauing or dropping off in some places that we can just go out there and do whatever we want. I do understand that there are some states that are lifting the mandate for having to wear masks today. And that's their choice. I don't know about you, but I'm still going to, well, here in Maryland, we're not. So I'm going to still wear mine. I'm going to make sure I'm socially distancing myself because this thing is not over. I don't know why people want to act like, you know, the pandemic is gone. Those that have gotten their vaccines, they want to act like, okay, it's all good. I'm going to do what I want. No, no. And in sign language, no, it's this or in O. It's not. So please continue to take care of yourself. I'm just saying. That's all I'm going to say on that. So that's all I have, you guys. I want to say thank you so much for giving me just a little bit of your time to share with you all. Don't forget, check back on Wednesday. Come back to my channel so you can see my Cooking with Michelle video. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be amazing for all of us. <laughs> because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to figure it out together. So again, I love each and every one of you. Thank you to my newest subscribers. I've noticed that I have some new, uh, quite a few new subscribers. I'm so excited about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just couldn't do what I do without you guys. Thank you for those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back. Y'all know the drill. You know my spiel. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing at all. Because I'm going to love you no matter what. I'm going to love you when you're going up. I'm going to love you when you're going down. I'm going to love you when you're going in. I'm going to love you when you're coming out. But most importantly, always remember that I'm going to love you even when nobody else even likes you. And that's real. That comes from the heart. You can take that to the bank any day you want to. Till next time, take care.